At St. Paul's Church in Bongi, people gather for mass. Many thousands have sought refuge here, and while the makeshift beds inside the church were temporarily removed to make space for prayer benches, the congregation still spilled out into the courtyard. After days of violence in which at least 400 people were killed, the Archbishop is preaching a message of peace and unity. We have the impression that some people want to provoke antagonists to Christians and Muslims will fight with each other, but we have to say no to this. We advocate tolerance, respect, and especially living together which characterized our country in the past. We are Christians and Muslims. We are together, working and collaborating together. The arrival of French troops has calmed the situation in Bongi, but the recent violence is raising fears of mass killings along sectarian lines. Almost 20,000 people now live in this Catholic mission. They've all fled here since the violence on Thursday. Conditions are terrible. They're sleeping on the floor. There's very little food and water, but they say they feel safer here than at home. But while religious leaders are teaching tolerance, many people here are angry and want revenge. What the anti-Balaka has done is a good thing, because the Seleka are not good. They're coming to kill all of us and to control the country. So I want the anti-Balaka to come and for there to be change and for the president to go. The anti-Balaka she refers to are Christian militia, who are fighting against the mostly Muslim Seleka rebels, with both sides still armed. Peace and unity seem like a long way off. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Bongi, in the Central African Republic.